Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet. And we are back with the Echo Sounder mid layer detection mission. This basically requires us to pilk for mid level fish. Let me show you the mission here, guys. I don't know if you saw in the last episode, but basically, we have to calibrate the Echo Sounder in the middle layers of the water. And practice the art of vertical jigging by catching a specified number of greater amberjack and Japanese amberjack with pilker. This precise technique will require skill and patience as you must be on a stationary boat and ensure your lure reaches the right depth. Stationary is the key on that one. Complete this mission and return to the port administrator to report your success in setting up the equipment. Probably will not get all of these in this episode. There's seven greater amberjack seven japanese amberjack now i started doing this in the last episode and i ended up catching a unique dog tooth tuna <laughs> which i'm not going to complain about because he was awesome but not what we're after but i'm definitely going to be using this rod because it should get it down deep enough to where we're interested in catching these guys well, let me check and see what we got on here on the sonar it looks like they are down there so we want to try to get it somewhere between about I'd say 80 and 130 feet there's plenty of fish down at the bottom but as it said not easy well it looks like CJ's back hey Huck where are you going after today well let me tell you let's see here uh, hold on. I always forget how to do this. Stag on it. <laughs> I thought it was the tab. Oh, okay, there it goes. Why didn't it work the first time? Okay. I am trying to complete the mid layer detection. Mission. Just started recording. <laughs> Say hi <laughs> to my viewers. <laughs> yeah, I don't know that he knew that I was recording him, but he did comment on the <laughs> Alright, did a little smiley face. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and get back out of that. Okay, tab. It's tab. I always forget. Now, this all the way out is only going to get it, it should get it about where we need it to be. Why is it not doing that? Okay, there it goes. Having a little bit of an issue with my mouse there. Had my mouse for a while. I'm not so sure it's going to keep going for very much longer. But I like it. I'm comfortable with it. But I'm going to take it about this 110. That's what I caught the dog to tuna on. I was just basically bobbing it up and down. I don't know if that's really what we're supposed to do, but I have caught them th doing that before. I might let it down a little bit and then bring it up. Now 
The only thing is, now that I'm thinking about it, might want to put the anchor down. It did say stationary. I'm technically not stationary. I don't want to mess that up. So... There. Oh, I do have my anchor down. I thought it... Hmm. I thought by default it always had the anchor up. That's interesting. Yeah, CJ. Seen him out a few times. Pretty nice guy. Actually, all the guys in our club are really nice. They've been in the club, most of them, for a very long time. I've been in it for, gosh. Before it was even a th clubs were even a thing, I was in it. Yeah, Dulakaba got it started, more or less. Did some advertising, did a pretty funny commercial. Oh, oh, that got it, really? I had one, damn it. So that did work. Well, it did say you gotta be patient. So I might have a too big of a pilker. Let's try a smaller one. I do have one. I'm not sure that it's going to be... At least I thought I did. Yeah, here it is. Got on this one, but I'm not going to try that rod. I've already messed that rod up enough times. I'm going to try this smaller one. It's got a 5 baud hook on it. It's lighter. It's got a little more color to it. Let's see if that doesn't do any better. I'm kind of keeping an eye on where that is. I'm going to try to get it as close to the middle of that water level as I can. And then start bobbing it up and down. That's how I caught the dog tooth tuna. It looks like he's still trying to get that unique big fin. <laughs> Something tells me that's going to be a hard one to get. Yeah, that one's going to be hard. The Ruby Snapper trophy and uniques are going to be hard. Oh, and it worked. Uh, well, it may be a bit big, though. I don't know. Greater Amberjacks are pretty good size. Of course, I gotta be sure I actually catch one. I mean, the dog tooth tuna was nice, but it was not what I wanted. I don't. I didn't mark any places that I caught the Japanese amberjack, but I think I do remember where I did get them before. This seems a little bit big. It's another dog tooth tuna. I'm gonna be a little bit crappy. Let's see what it is. Ah, dang, gone. Well, apparently the dog tooth tuna are here. Well, I think there is a better place to catch those guys. Let me see here. Yeah, I think. I think it was over here. Yeah. Over on this side of things. I might try that. Let me check. Let's see here. Do we have any med levels? Yes, we do. Pretty sure I got some here. And I don't think I have anything marked. No, I got one marker here. I got 
What was it? Big fin reef squid. Biggest one I caught was right here. And I was getting a bunch of amberjack here. I do remember that. So, what's my depth? Gotta check that too. Thank God I should have done that when I was up there. Okay, so we've got. And they're still showing as mid level. So 39 feet. 39 feet's not bad. We just have to toss it out there, pretty much. Now the question is... See, I have to do a jig. I can't do it by reeling it in, so apparently that doesn't count. Fifty three feet about in the middle. Now we do know this is working. They did say though it takes patience. Now, hold on, let me do this real quick. I have got I have got to get one of those big fin reef squid uniques. And I do believe that they went, let me see. What do they go for mostly? Scaled sardines, finger mullets, so that's good. Yeah, let me go ahead and toss this out because that's where I caught that one. And I'm going to see if I can't hook me another. Big fin reef squid, too. Would love to get another fish caught, species type caught. A better reaction. Oh, he got one. Wish I knew where he was. Wait a minute, actually, I can't find out where he is. Where are you, CJ? Oh, he's right over there. That's cool. Oh, wait a minute, we got a bite. <laughs> And we got something that I don't think... Wait a minute. Okay, it's not too big. Yeah, really? <laughs> he goes, well, that was quick. <laughs> I was just sitting there saying that. <laughs> I was like, dang, gone. He got it. Come on, this is definitely not a big fin. Sorry guys, my dog is acting up again. Every time I record, he decides that he wants to get covered. Well, there's a Japanese amberjack, but that ain't gonna count. Damn it. I was just saying to my viewers that you needed one, then 
a few seconds later. Nice job. <laughs> well, I got a greater amberjack. I mean, a Japanese. Japanese amberjack. Now, I'm going to still keep doing that because. I do need to get one. This is not going to go as quickly as I thought. My thing is I'm going right into the sky. <laughs> so it makes it a little bit harder to see what I'm trying to aim for. There we go. All right. Let's hope here, guys. This is at least the first of one of these, guys. And it is. It's a greater amberjack. Very nice. Well, I think I've got kind of an idea how to do this now. What I do is I throw it all the way out and I kind of slowly draw it up and just keep poking for a little bit and toss it out again. Just keep at it like that. I think we might be able to pull this off. I really like to get that unique Japanese Amberjack to complete that one, too. But I think I've got something on my other rod here. Hold on. Yep, I do, and this might be a big fin reef squid. This is about the right size. Yep, I think I got one here. Oh, come on, don't get off of there, daggone it. No, just regular size. Yeah, we'll keep at it. Well, at least... Okay, something bit at it. Let me drop that down a little bit and do it again. Come on. Yeah, one thing I have noticed a number of times, you could set one of these lure rods down and it looks like something's biting it. But I've never had anything on it when it's done that. I oh, we got something on that one again. Thank God. This thing has really been doing well. Okay, this one's bigger. It is a big fin reef squid. It is a trophy. New personal record. Nice. Yeah, I think if we're going to get one, it's going to be right here. Because I'm not too far from... Seriously? I'm not too far from CJ. So I think they're just in this area. But you really got to watch your line, though. It seems like with these guys on here, they either bite or they don't. You 
Yeah, one thing I do wish for this map and in this game, I wish you could move around the boat. See, I would go all over this boat. I would be up on top fishing. I would be over there fishing. I wouldn't just stay in one place. I mean, you can move to four, you know, four spots. That's it. No, I'd be all over this boat. Yeah, this is going to take a while. <laughs> I'm kind of thinking this is going to take a minute. Alright, let me test one thing. I'm going to aim. This is risky. I'm going to put this on this one. And I'm going to try it with this rod. Because this gets me a lot more distance. I'm just going to let it go down a little bit. Try poking it from the mid level. I'm hoping I don't land into something so big it can't handle it, but. There we go. Let's see if this if this is the right kind of fish. If, if it count, it did count. It did count. Awesome. Okay, now we know what we're doing. Now we know what we're doing. There's a Japanese amberjack. So we've got one of each. One of each. That was a little bit of a test. It worked. Almost had it the darn shore before you finally bit. Okay, provided I don't catch something too big for this, I might be able to pull this off. Ah, we got something on this one. Another big fin, I think. Yep. Regular size. They do bring in quite a bit of cash for their size, though. I will say that. They do not have to be... Monsters. There we go. This could be what we're after. This could be what we're after. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my god, after all that, and I ended up getting a green joke fish. That is funny. You little bugger. Yeah, something tells me that may be the way I'm going to have to get the unique job fish. I didn't think they were this close to shore, to be honest. Well, we just discovered a new place for them. In fact, I am going to go ahead and mark that. Because... I didn't know they could be found here. 
That way I know for future references is that I can get green joe fish here. And I can get a snag too. Good lord. I have been rocking this one, whatever it is, and this one's got a little heft to him. He might be another Japanese amberjack. That's what I'm thinking it is. It'd be awesome if it was a unique big fin reef squid. I don't think it'd be this big. This one's giving a little bit too much of a fight. They really don't put much of a fight up. Yeah, it's a fish. Yep, Japanese amberjack. Does not count. Since I went to the bottom, I stand a good chance of getting a job fish again. Oh, nice, CJ. Got me unique narrow barred mackerel. I think that's the only species so far that I've got two uniques of. least so far. Still got to get the Japanese Greater Amberjack. Is it just Japanese Amberjack? Ooh, there we go. We can put a little more pressure on him, by the way. I think this is probably the right species, too. Just by the way he's fighting. going to be a bugger, huh? Greater Amberjack. There's our second one. Nice. Something's on this first one, too. I think. No? No, I better check it. It has moved. Definitely get them, guys. But yeah, it does take patience. As does a lot of fishing. Fishing is all about patience. There we go. I'm starting to wonder there for a minute. Trying to go under the boat.
Oh, you're gonna be a... One of those, huh? I literally had him almost on the boat, and now he's taking it out. Had him 14 feet off the egg on boat. And he took it out to 70 something feet, the little turkey. And now we get a pause, which that throws me off. There we go, we got him. Ah, they're a barred mackerel. Well, wouldn't you know it. Not what we needed at all. That does explain the strange fighting behavior. Well, I'm going to try one more time over here, and I think we're going to call that an episode. We're going to do all this off screen. This would take... Well... Probably be like a three-hour episode at this rate. <laughs> Just gonna have to do this off-screen. And hopefully when we get to the last fish, we'll be able to do another episode and finish it off. Ah, that was fast. And that's... Okay. If this is one, it's a greater amberjack. It's not a Japanese. But this could be pushing my gear here. Pushing my gear. I had to take a chance though, because this gets better casting distance, and I was getting fewer bites with that other one. We're going to be here a minute, guys. Two hours later. Finally, Jesus. Trophy Greater Amberjack, well at least it counted. Oh my god. That is just a little bit too much for that rod, that's all I know. Whew. I don't know how that gone long I fought him. Twenty-five, thirty minutes? I don't know, man. I was starting to lose my patience. Yeah, this rod is just not strong enough for these guys. Holy crap, that was... I mean, yeah, he's not a monster monster, but... For this rod he is. <laughs> Damn, God. Well, guys, I am done. I don't think I can do anymore at this point. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to... Share, comment, like, and subscribe, and I will be back with another episode of Fishing Planet. So until then, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.